Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to review one of the most used products, uh, the product that I've been using a lot lately and these are these liquid lipsticks by LA Splash. Um, these are the matte liquid lipsticks uh, and the ones that I have are in the shade Untamed which is this dark gothy shade which I am wearing right now and the other one is called Forbidden which is this bright fuchsia very neonish pink color. So I got these from fabbag.com um, these retail for around 100 no around 1000 rupees something around 950 or 1000 rupees uh, but these were an offer when I bought them and I got them for 400 rupees each. Now these are your uh, matte lipsticks, you know matte lipsticks, liquid lipsticks are all the rage right now and the best part about liquid matte lipsticks is that they do not transfer and they last a long time. So those are one of the main reasons why I bought this. Apart from that, I loved uh, the color range that they had. They have, I think they have around 5 colors uh, available on fabbag.com to are these. Then one is very uh, nude almost skin colorish color which would definitely wash out all the Indian skin tones then then uh, there is one really bright neon orange shade which is out of stock so that is also a very pretty color for Indian skin tones and then there is one more color which I cannot remember so there are five shades and if you want to buy you can go to fabbag.com and there is this option in the top uh, which says sale or offers and then you go there and you find these for 400 rupees. I think the offer is still going on and I bought these like a month or two months back and it is still on offer for 400 rupees so you guys should definitely check so it out. So I got these in, in this uh, tube, they, there was just this transparent plasticky packaging uh, on the outside. And I love the packaging, it looks really pretty and it's easy to identify the color. They have this golden shade, uh, the golden cap and the text is in golden color as well. So I, I really like that and um, okay, so it opens up like this. I love the doe foot applicator that it has. It's a it's, it's little different where than the typical standard doe foot applicator. I love that um, this stem is not very long but is long enough to be uh, to give you the precise application and then where the applicator actually starts there is a slight bend if you guys can see there's a slight bend which helps in applying the lipsticks uh, really nicely and if you can see the tip is a little uh, tapered which again helps you in being more precise uh, in while applying the lipsticks um if you have seen my uh, previous video where i've done this romantic makeup tutorial you would have seen me wearing this beautiful pink lipsticks and a lot of you complimented me on how amazing the color was looking and i agree this color looks really good on you know light to medium skin tones and this is something I would wear uh, when I'm feeling really low or uh, it just it, this is just an instant pick me up. It just instantly adds a beautiful glow to my face and I absolutely adore this color. Let me just swatch this for you guys. And the other lipstick is untamed which is this deep dark gothic very 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 dark <laughs> brown color uh, I have never ever worn any such shade but I really wanted to wear it uh, so I bought it uh, if you don't like such shades you can totally avoid it but I wanted to give it a try and I think I kind of love it it's good uh, when you're bored of your typical lipstick colors so this is what I'm wearing right now and I would swatch it as well it's a very deep dark brown shade but I think there is definitely a hint of purple in there a dark purple that's what I feel now coming to the formula the lipsticks are very liquidy I've also used some other uh, brands uh, liquid lipsticks the, those formulas have either been little moozy um, which actually feels very light on lips uh, but this is a typical uh, a true liquid lipstick I would say uh, the colors are insanely pigmented they're not glossy they're matte as the name says 
they are matte lipsticks they dry out perfectly matte there is no gloss since they are matte of course they are transfer proof um these last you a long time these would last you for the entire day trust me if you are going out somewhere where you you think you won't have the time to go you know and touch up your lipstick these are the kind of lipsticks these are the lipsticks you would want to invest in and wear on those days um i have worn the the uh, you know pink shade and i went out and i ate dosas and i ate burgers and i it was sweaty and it was like quite hot and um it it was still there by the time i came back home which is a big plus i have used liquid lipsticks which are long staying and which can survive meals but this is definitely on another level the only issue that i have with these lipsticks is that when you apply too much of these lipsticks i mean there is a special way i would say uh, to apply these lipsticks if you do not apply them in that specific way you will uh, you will actually face a lot of problems like when i got it for the very first time i went ahead and applied layers of this lipstick just to intensify the color and what i found was it started crumbling from the inner corner from here you know it started crumbling from there and i was like shocked because everyone was like these lipsticks are so long staying i mean i posted about uh, these lipsticks uh, the moment i got them and everyone was like these are a pain in ass uh, you know to remove and this and that these are so long staying and all the good stuff but uh, when i applied it for the very first time i laid this lipstick on like two to three layers and it started crumbling within few minutes it started crumbling from the inner part of your uh, lips and i was shocked um then you know i was i did not want to use them again i was like really put off by that but i gave it a try and i tried applying it a couple of times in different ways and that is when i realized there is a specific way of applying this lipstick the perfect way to apply this is to take the uh, lipstick on the applicator uh, put few dots of your lipstick on the lips then go and uh, massage it on your lips spread it out uh, with your fingers you should not layer these lipstick because if you do then they would uh, end up crumbling on your lips and they would not stay uh, the best possible way is to you know dot these lipsticks on your lips and then spread it nicely with your fingers if you feel the intensity is lacking and you want to build up the intensity go back again and just dot few more and then you know you're good to go Uh, that is the best way to apply this and if you apply it in this particular way your lipsticks are going to last the whole day no meal no snack no drink can take off the color from your another lips. problem with these lipsticks uh is that these are long staying lipstick to the extent that it's 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 really hard to remove these lipsticks everyone has been complaining about you know how difficult it is to remove the uh, lipsticks from this particular range um well i found out a solution to this problem the best way to apply these lipsticks is to put a thick layer of oil on your lips first and then apply the lipstick and then again go back and uh while you want are uh, removing the lipstick go back and apply a thick layer of oil again let it sit there for a while the oil would break down the lipstick and then you can you know scrub it off with a cotton pad or a cotton ball but uh, what i found was the oil that worked best with these lipstick was uh, i have this um, um sweet almond this is apricot oil with me if you know if you have watched my uh, favorite series i talked about it how it's a holy grail product it's an amazing thing uh, so i basically use it i apply it on my lips first then put on the lipstick then i apply it again while i am removing the lipstick and it just melts down the lipstick magically it's Oh my god i can't even tell you it's the best makeup remover i've heard of so if you guys can get a hold of that apricot oil i tried the same technique with olive oil and with um coconut oil as well but they were not as uh good you know while removing the lipstick as i would say the apricot oil was so i would suggest getting this apricot oil it's it's inexpensive and you can order it right away if you guys want the details to that product i'll link it in the description box but that is the only way to remove these lipsticks else nothing else really works you know as good and you still have the stains on your lips at the end of the day so i would i would definitely recommend these lipsticks if you're looking for budget friendly and long staying lipsticks uh like i said 
if you apply them the right way they you'll always love them but if you apply them the wrong way you're gonna hate it that is what happened to me initially but then i found out a way to make them work also when one more more problem which i uh, felt was like if you add up too many layers your lips feel really stretchy and the lipstick just starts to come off in a while so just take care of those things other than that these are amazing highly pigmented actually matte long staying lipsticks within a great budget so i would definitely recommend you guys to go and get the color that you like so i hope you guys like this tutorial and if you did then please do not forget to subscribe to my channel have you already bought them what do you guys think about it and if you have not bought them then you can buy them i'll leave the link in the description box and just share your uh feedback with me and i'll meet you guys soon until then you guys take care